Hi, my name is Doug Windiger, QA Product Specialist with Atlas Copco, and today we're going to cover quick programming using the ST Pad. This ST Pad is communicating or sitting on a bench, so we're going to see those transducers. When I hit quick program over here, it's looking at all of our transducers, and we can see our three dynamic brakes and our static transducers sitting here. But additionally, I have an IRC Connect with an IRTT transducer. So that's one of my measuring devices as an option or as available for me to do a quick program. I'm gonna select that one right now. So when I select the transducer I wanna use, then I get the type of test I'm gonna do, right? So if it's a click wrench, I have the click wrench option. Um, in my case, I'm gonna click power tool or direct driven. And when I collect that, the next screen I have is really just where I'm gonna launch the test. And it's as simple as pushing that play button over there. And then now I have my run chart. So let's go get some results. All right, so our IRC Connect with our 75 newton meter transducers connect to our DC tool, and we're gonna do three quick rundowns. All right, so we've ran our three rundowns on our quick program. Um, what I want you to pay attention to here is we can highlight each individual results, and then from there, we can look at the trace of these results if we want to um, in different formats. Torque versus time, torque versus angle. This information is always here. Um, the other thing we can do is, if you notice, we have a summary button up here at the top where we can look at, in this case, our quick program is a CM, CM, CMK, so we can see our running statistics. But the cool thing is that information is always displayed down here. So as we're running our results, we can actually see what our results are coming in as far as our CM, CMK. Over on the far right, again, we have a couple options up here at the top. You notice there's a print function. We actually have um, a way to delete the results if we need to. And the other nice thing is we can add notes to any of this data if we want to. And we have the option to take a picture if we need to. These things are all available with Quick Program and our normal tool testing if we're not you know, running from a Quick Program. Um, this Quick Program is automatically named QP underscore one. It's the first Quick Program I have. If I hit the back button here, it's gonna ask me if I wanna quit. I'm gonna hit yes. Um, the other thing I can do is name this quick program now and give it a name if I want to save it for later. So the quick program essentially becomes part of the program and I can relaunch it again. So we just covered the quick programming using the ST pad. Using the ST palm is almost identical with the exception is we're not going to see the transducers that are mounted on a bench, right? We're not going to run a bench from the ST palm, but we are going to see the transducers that are connected to an IRC connect. So, and the screens are very similar, if not identical, when we're running our tests. Again, if you have any further questions, contact your Atlas Copco rep, and thank you for watching.